Hello, and welcome to this edition of Black Belt Bot Thoughts with RJ Redden. That's me. How are you feeling out there today? I am so excited about Messenger Bots. I could not possibly be more excited. Every day, I run into new ideas on how to use the bots that I have already out there and the bots that I built for my clients. And I come upon uh, brand new people who've never heard of bots. So if you'd like to learn a little bit about bots, this show's for you, Grasshopper. So this is what we're going to talk about today. As advertised, we're going to talk about why Messenger, why is Messenger important? You know what? There are a ton of bots out there that are not on Facebook Messenger. There are bots on Twitter. Uh, I I won't even talk about those. Uh, those are uh, the, I'm not a fan of those. There are bots on every single chat platform that are is out the Kick, Slack, WeChat. Uh, they, they're everywhere. Chats bot chat bots are everywhere. Why is it important? to focus on Facebook Messenger. So, <clears throat> my number one answer to that question, it's where the eyeballs are, darlings. It is where the eyeballs are. It is where people are focused, um, especially, now, chatbot aren't, chatbots aren't for everyone. Uh, for me, they're perfect for single person businesses, for coaches, for direct sales people, for solopreneur. They're absolutely perfect. We are people who sell based on our personal brand. And so it's perfect for people like us because we put a lot of personality into the things that we do. Bots are a great place to put personality. You can put some into an email, but the expectation is that those will be uh, definitely a lot more professional looking. Bots are a crazy ride elsewhere in a different direction. And uh, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. But it's where the it's where the people are, and it's where the the potential clients are. If your potential clients aren't on Facebook, then there's no need to listen to the rest of this broadcast, obviously. But if you're a person who markets to moms, guess where those eyeballs are. Uh, you know, if you're a person that markets to other solopreneurs. Uh, man, the, the potential is, is endless on that. It's where the eyeballs are too. Folks would much rather go to their messenger than go to the email. Messenger is a place you go to, to talk with people you care about. Emails where you go to discuss work with people. Uh, you know, contracts, transactions, uh, you know, things like that. So, um, so that first of all, first and foremost, why messenger it's where the eyeballs are at. Uh, it's, and it's where your potential clients are hanging out as well. Second reason here it is Facebook is pushing this like the Dickens. So I'm a person who loves to watch those terribly geeky conferences online. You know, like where Zucky gets up and he talks about, you know, whatever Facebook is pushing. And uh, uh, I have seen some things and I've seen Facebook spending a lot of money in the direction of making Messenger a place where, a, you know, one billion eyeballs are there already, but making Messenger uh, the top, the top selection in your choice of messaging apps over WhatsApp, over Kick, over Slack, over anything else. They want to make Messenger the focus. They are putting so much money into Messenger. Recently, they made a deal with PayPal. Uh, I know that you've been able to make payments through Messenger for a while, but people don't necessarily trust the system, but they do trust, boop, PayPal. So they're making deals with PayPal uh, to get people to be able to, you know, go through that system as well. They are, they, you know, obviously opening this up to this platform up to businesses. Recently, they opened Facebook Messenger. You now are able to put a button on a website and do customer service through your website. Chat with people about how, about their questions while they're having them on your website. Let's think about that for a minute. Most of the people 
who visit your website come and go. But right there in the moment when they have a question, if they're able to chat with a human, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Um, so also cuts down the cost if you're paying for, you know, a, a paid service such as intercom or something like that. Now my, uh, you know, I've just recently installed this on my website, obviously, and I'm going to share my screen with you. I just want to show you the things that are, they're possible using this, this tiny little tool, which with your many chat subscription, if you're a many chatter, I am, it's the only platform I build on. If you're a many chatter, this, this comes with a subscription, darlings, which is like $10 a month for under 500 subscribers. It is ridiculously derp cheap. Let me show you what's possible, though. Not even just simple customer service, but a little bit more. Pardon me while I change screens. Boop. All right. Now there you are seeing my screen and want to show you, uh, want to show you the button right down here in that corner. People are pretty used to uh, seeing some kind of customer service chat option right there in that corner. And when you install the button, that is exactly where it goes. Obviously, people recognize that symbol. It's pretty universally recognizable. Uh, and we're going to click it now. This is on, by the way, blackbeltbots.com. This is uh, one of my websites. And uh, and it's beautiful. Hang out, peruse. Anyway, let's go back down here. I want to talk to you what happens when I click this. Uh, now, I've been testing on here. So it has some messages there for me. Uh, but, uh, but typing a message in here. Let's just try, hey. Do, 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 do. We'll wait here for a second. Uh, it'll come back with a response. What this bot does uh, is it summons me. It tells me that there is somebody here waiting for me uh, to talk to. And it gives people a message. And the message is awesome. I've summoned RJ. She'll be with you as soon as she can. Meanwhile, do you want to learn more about bots? So not only has uh, this happened that I have... Uh, I have been summoned that somebody wants to talk to me because, hey, I'm not constantly in the live chat window. Let me go back to the screen getting me. So it notifies the somebody that it might be a few minutes before I get back to them. It tells me there's somebody to talk to, which is great because I'm not always focused on my live chat screen. And then it asks somebody what they want to hear about bots. You know, if they would like to learn a bit, bit more about bots, if they press the button that says absolutely then they're subscribed to my bot. So not only do I have a chance to answer questions, chat live with people who are questioning, you know, have any questions they want uh, about the business, about the things that I sell, whatever, but I also have an opportunity to, to subscribe them to my chat bot. It is magical. It is fantastic. Now, what if you don't have a sequence to subscribe them to? Totally fine. You can ask people while they're waiting for, for you to come back or for a staff member or viewers to answer a question. While they're waiting, you can invite them to your next live stream. Invite them to your next webinar. Uh, inv give them a free ebook. Uh, do, you can, there's so much more interaction that you can make out of that simple, I have a question, I want to talk to somebody. And again, that is like, that is your mini chat subscription price. It's 10 bucks a month. It's ridiculously low to be able to talk to people when they have questions. So Facebook is pushing this thing. Facebook is coming out with their own stuff all of the time and allowing us to have to interact with people in different ways all the time. ManyChat releases more features in a month than I can possibly, I mean, I could tell you right now. But wow, uh, you don't have all afternoon. I understand. So uh, they're pushing the limits of what can be done and developing this stuff all the time. Uh, there's nothing. There's nothing worse than discovering a new frontier on the internet, and then it's developed a little bit, and then it just sort of goes dead. You know what I mean, don't you? Hello, Google Sites. <laughs> relationship we used to have. We used to be very close. I built a Google site for everything. I used them in my master's degree. 
I, you know, they were great group communication. Those bad boys have not been worked on in 10 years. Email itself, right? How much has email evol- evolved uh, during the time? It's been around for 20 years. How much has it evolved? Not very much. Not very much. Now, our way of communicating, basically it got automated. Uh, email got kind of, you know, held hostage by marketers there for a while. Uh, and, you know, that's a, that's a different story for a different day. That's the email, is email dead topic I've been brewing in my brain. Stay tuned for that uh, episode of Black Belt Bot Thoughts. Anyway, the, the platforms that don't get developed... Uh, are very disappointing. Uh, this platform, this Facebook Messenger, Facebook itself, and you know how many, you know, they, the, those people are covered in money. They're, they're pushing this really, really hard. And here's how they're pushing it too. They're developing new features, which is great, but they also have six ways for you to unsubscribe immediately from anything that you don't want to hear about. Why is that important? RJ, <laughs> why is that important that people are easily able to opt out of a message? Well, you know, uh, you look what's happened to email. Look what's happened with all of the people who are kind of constantly spamming the same types of messages over and over and over. Uh, look at all of the things that have happened there. It's And it's not super easy to unsubscribe either, is it? Because uh, you click the unsubscribe link, then you've got to say what you're unsubscribing from, and then you've got to say why you're on, you know. Just get me out. Just stop talking to me. Facebook Messenger makes it so you can just stop talking to whoever you want, or just leave the messages be and they'll stop. That's important because you want to talk to people who want to listen to you. You want to be, be having a conversation with someone who is engaged. On Facebook Messenger, it's not the size of your list. It's not the number, you know, the vanity metric. I've got 20,000 people on my list. How big is your list? Yeah. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that in Facebook Messenger. In Facebook Messenger, it's about quality of interaction. It's about whether people care to be there or not and whether they care to stick around. So I build a lot of sequences for my customers. I build a lot for coaches. I build a lot for solopreneurs of all kinds and, and in nonprofits as well. Uh, also very excited to start on a get out the vote bot for a special campaign that's happening in a, in a different state. And I am so stoked about that one. It is unbelievable. Anyway, we'll talk about that one another day. The, uh, so there, there's a whole lot of possibilities there. Uh, I build a lot of different kinds of interactions. Oh, hey, Jenny. Jenny says, hello. Hello. It's lovely to see you, darling. So, <clears throat> uh, lots of interactions, but Facebook makes it, makes it very, very clear that it is for, is, it's for communicating with businesses and people you care about. Not just some Joe trying to sell you a pair of shoes uh, because, you know, they've got to move a lot of shoes this month. That is not the kind of conversation that you have. You know, a lot of people that I deal with, especially coaches, we care about educating people. We care about making people be more powerful with the things that they have at their disposal already. I'm, I'm a teacher from way back. Listen, this is a story. In the, in the first grade... Uh, I was given a special award by my teacher, Mrs. Grody. She was greatest. She was the greatest. Anyway, she gave me a special award because we went to the skating rink. And I was, like, really kind of scared to skate. Uh, balance has never been a strong issue for me. Uh, but I found some kindergartners that were even more afraid than I was of the skating. And I, I taught them how to skate. I taught them what, what I knew about skating. We all spent the afternoon together and the, the folks that were littler than me got to skate. Uh, and, and as did I, yeah, you don't do that at six without having a strong interest in educating people, educating people, making them feel more empowered with the tools that are out there. Um, that is, that's the message that I want to get out there. That's the, that's not a lecture. That's a conversation. And Facebook messenger is all about having conversations. One-on-one -on -one, private session, me, you start right now.
click that button on black belt bots do something else you know whatever you want to do i'm available in many ways anyway finally you know gonna reiterate that one point that messenger messengers for people you care about hearing from I was doing my first bot. This was back in the summertime and I had somebody write down, I am not kidding you. She wrote down, it's almost like an opt-in I care about reading. And the world changed for me when I read that sentence. Uh, every, you know, everybody who markets themselves know what an opt-in is. It's that freebie. It's that 87 ways to world domination document that I promised you is going to make, make you a million dollars the second you read it. It's that thing that makes you sign up for an email list. Well, here's an email list in a brand new way. Brand new way. Um, so Black Belt Bot Thoughts. Uh, this is a title I'm playing with. Should you love this title, please type one in the comments or just type I love it. You know, whatever. Um, and uh, and if I should keep looking, also type that in the comments for me. I'll get it. Um, that is, uh, that's our show for today. We are going to be on, uh, and it's the Royal We. It's me and Bob Ross back there. Uh, the Royal We and BB-8, obviously. <laughs> We're going to be on uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, 1 Central Standard Time. And uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to tell you more about bots, talk about the com the email comparison with bots, talk about the success my customers are having. You guys, this is insane. The open rates are insane. The opportunities are insane. This is a different world we're stepping into, and I am proud to be your ninja tour guide. So, darlings, until I see you again, which will be... That's right, next Tuesday, 1 p.m. Central. Until then, you know, keep your shorts dry. And uh, I'll come up with a better tagline later.